Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. It is time for our fitness Pilates. So last week we did lots of standing stuff, lots of lunges and squats and roll downs and things. This week it's all going to be mat based, so we're going to be on our backs and our sides. Um, and it doesn't mean it's going to be any easier. And um, don't forget, if you've got hand weight, if you've got a band, have them nearby. We can use them if we want to. Remember also, this is not an absolute beginner's class. So if this is the first class you've ever switched on, don't do it. Do another one. Do my Pilates for all and work up to this one. If you are here though and you want to work at a lower level, that's absolutely fine. You might be in the mood for just um, keeping a bit more gentle. Bring it on, Peter McCann. Bring it on. We're going to go for it. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Who else is here this morning? Sue, Paula, Bernie. Who have we got? Kathy, Jim. Ah, Joan, lovely, all the usual suspects. Good morning, Carolyn. Has your snow gone yet, Carolyn? Or are you still, it's still snowy there. So we are gonna crack on anyway. Good morning, Bernie. Um, like I said, you work the level you wanna work, but I'm gonna be doing the higher options today. So if you wanna take a lower option, you can. Hello, Sam. And Sam's already noticed that I put on Facebook that the next class, so the one at quarter past 10, which is our bite-sized strength, Today it's going to be legs, but it's going to be it's going to be kneeling and lying. So no lunges, no squats, Peter McCann. Yes, but I can make it worse in other ways. Good morning, Lindsay. Is your son with you? Is Connor there this morning, Lindsay? Good morning, Julie and Kathy. Right, come on then, let's get going. Enough saying hello to everybody. We're going to get going. I got a bit louder, I think, the music just so I can hear it. So we're going to start off with a little seated warm up. If you want to sit on a cushion, by all means, sit on a cushion. Um, and I think, yeah, we've got to do it. Cross-legged, come on. Okay, so first of all, oh, I've got my thingy, I'm going to see, see what, oh, so I'm not used to this yet. Oh, no, I'm not running, am I? That's ridiculous. Um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to see, out of interest, what kind of amount of calories we burn. Not many in um, Pilates, but that's not why we're here. It's not a calorie burn class. It's about strength and flexibility and mobility, all those things as well. Take a big breath in. Exhale. And again, big breath in. Exhale. Lovely, now we're gonna get the arms involved. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So we're gonna vary speed, we're gonna do fast stuff, we're gonna do slow stuff. And now we're gonna go slow, up come. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and again, so lovely and smooth. Don't be tempted to hurry. That's it, good. Okay, both hands on the floor. We're going to side bend. So my tummy's pulled in, little side bend, and back. Now, I know you guys are experienced. I don't need to nag, but... Remember, keep your bottom glued. Hello, Diane. Is Brendan there as well? Yes. Brendan and Diane, super. I think you said someone else. I thought someone else has moved in, Diane. Over and hold. Hold. Stretch that arm through. Really work on lengthening this bit of the body. Back you come. Over the other way. Arm goes over. Stretch. Been out with the dog this morning. It's now rainy. It wasn't rainy then. And it's very much getting spring-like. Let's go back to those arms again, a bit quicker. Here we go. The skylarks are in full song, chasing each other about up in the sky, plummeting down to earth again. Absolutely beautiful. Up we come. Exhale. We're very lucky to have so many skylarks around here. And again. Good. We're going to slow the arms down. We're going to take it to a slightly different shape. So arms are going to come up. So they reach high, oh, touch those fingers, draw your arms down, very slow and measured. Bring those arms up, oh, stretch, tummies in, bring those arms down, Good. ready for our side bends again. Hands on the floor to begin with, just quite quickly, side, back. Yeah, the catkins, if you've noticed the catkins hanging off of the hazel trees, they have doubled in length the last week or so. My auntie keeps bees, and she tells me that the bees are coming back with pollen. There's spring there. 
Over we go, nice and slow. Arms over and hold. Stretch. I want you to lengthen, really exaggerate that reach. Good. Bring yourselves back over. Other arm. Stretch. Pull in the tummy. Good work. And a little bit of rotation. So arms coming up here. Change your leg position if you've had enough. Just pop your legs out in front or maybe... I mean, sit on your, you could actually kneel if you wanted to, or stand. Good, four more. Four. Three. Two more. One more. Lovely, okay, bring those legs in. Oh, give a little shake out. We're gonna roll down onto our backs, make it nice and elegant. Down we go. If you've got your hand weights, you're gonna need those. So pop one either side. Head and shoulder, I'm going to take the glasses off now because they get in the way, don't they? Okay, so feet flat on the floor. We're going to go straight up into bridges. So tilt, bring yourself up, and then down we go. Slide. Lovely. So I want you to really focus on that tilt of the hips. Up you come. Down you go the same way, like you're rewinding the video. Good. This time we're going to go up and hold it. So tilt, up we come. Now, if you can go a little bit higher, that would be brilliant. If you're very flexible and you're actually getting your hips above that straight line, then drop them back down. Don't, don't want you to arch your back. Hold it there. Everyone breathe. Backsides are squeezing. Yes, they are. And then slowly roll down. Down we go. So we're going to add into this. Simple leg extension, push out, bring it back. Now I put my hands on my hips just initially to make sure that I'm not rocking side to side. Once I'm happy that I'm okay. Oh, my dog's barking, someone's at the door. Okay, we're gonna go into bridge again. Breath in, pelvic tilt. Up you come, up to that bridge, nice and high. Hold it there, have you tucked your chin a bit? That'll make your neck more comfy. Keep it there, bum squeezing. Down we go, slow. Listen, go up again. All the way down. Yeah, that was mean, wasn't it? Just pretty much. Right Back to our leg extensions. Opposite arm, overhead. Quite quick. But I know I can trust you to do all the right things. You're pulling your tummy muscles in. Making sure your chest isn't arching up. Yes. Two more. One more. Okay, we're gonna go back to our bridge again. Breath in, pelvic tilt. Up you come, lovely and high. Hold it there, bottom squeezing. Now do you remember how we came part way down? Let's have a little go. Part way down, go back up. Yes, all the way down. Ready for those leg extensions. We're gonna slow these down this time. So I'm gonna point my foot and bring it back. Usually I do a flat foot, so I thought we'd shake it up this morning with a pointed toe. If you're prone to cramping your feet, don't point it too ferociously. And again. Yeah, lovely. Okay. So, give your knees a little hug while I just show you what's coming next. We're going to do a single leg bridge. If you've got dodgy hamstrings, stick with two legs. Let me just demonstrate a single. I'm bringing my knee right into chest. Pelvic tilt just to say, we're going to push up and then go down. So it's exactly the same, but you've got that leg in the air. So let's all have a little go. Breath in. Pelvic tilt. Bring yourself up and then down. Let's do it again on that leg. Up. Good. I want three on this side. That's two. If you feel your hamstrings cramping, please stop. Change over. Get yourself set up. Everything lovely and central. Let's go again. Breath in. Tilt. Up. Now I find that initial tilt quite difficult. So I have to really focus on pushing my back into the floor. Last one on the side. Down. Good. Both feet back to the floor. Back to ordinary bridge. Just check you've got that gap between your feet. Breath in. Have a come. Hold it here. Bottom is like rock. Squeeze it. Okay, halfway down. Do you remember we just went halfway down? 
and all the way up. And all the way down. And we're going to go back to our leg extensions, but this time using the weights. So nice and slow. And out. <coughs> Excuse me, back in. Out, out. I've got the beautiful flowers that my husband bought for me for Valentine's Day. And they've got lilies in. The lilies are beautiful, but they're so strong, aren't they? I normally cut off the, um, oh, I what they're called, little bits inside. Um, but I've forgotten to do it to the new one, and I'm really, really drowning in the smell in here again. <laughs> what they called? Stamens. That's the word. Two more. Here we go. Out, out. Back, back. Lovely and controlled, everybody. Okay, so we're going to go to single leg bridge again. I'm going to put the weights down. Up they come. And down. Now, harder option. Leg in the air. Now that makes that pelvic tilt quite tricky, so really work on it. Then we're going to change over. That's hard. I know you like a challenge though, you guys, don't you? Nice straight leg, pelvic tilt, come up, go down. So you're basically lifting an awful lot of your body weight just with one leg. It's not surprising that it's hard work. Yes. Both feet come to the floor. We're going to go to just ordinary bridge. Breath in. Here we go. Tilt. Up. Can you go a tiny bit higher? Can you lift that pelvic floor a little bit more intensely? Yes. Halfway down. Up. Good. All the way down. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Ready for those extensions again. Nice and steady. Out, out, back, back, beautiful everybody. I'm sure you're taking your time. You've probably got a lovely big smile on your face. <laughs> no, do you know I don't? <laughs> One more. Good, well done. Okay, pop those weights down for the moment. A little bit of supine twist. Of course you could have your feet flat, but I reckon most of you can be in tabletop for this. Arms out wide. Now you can touch your knees together, that's fine. Breath in. Nice and little. Just a little one. And then back in. So I want you to suss out how your back's feeling today. If you're thinking, actually, my back's feeling a bit tender, then get your feet on the floor. Because the thing about any class, you've got to work the way you feel, not how your neighbour's feeling, how I'm feeling. So for me today, that's feeling good. So I'm sticking there. And I find this particularly in class, I've got to tell you guys, it's often you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to be sexist, but quite often, it's that competitive element. Not saying women aren't competitive, because we are. Oh, I'm going to have letters about this one, aren't I? But anyway, don't compete with anybody. Work your level. And again, Good. Now hold those legs there, just little toe taps. We're going to go single and back. Hands behind your head, because in a second, I'm going to ask you to do a little sit-up. You do sit-up for me, hold it here. Both legs tap down. Tap, back. Yes, hold them there. Back to our supine twist. Out, out. Back in. Tummy's pulled in. Everyone relax your shoulders. I don't want you to look like you're having a battle with the floor. Shoulders are relaxed. Use your stomach muscles. Really pull them in. Ready for our toe taps. Nice and straightforward. Here we go. The toe tap. Hands creeping up behind your head. Two more simple ones. Tummy's in. Good. Now bring yourself up into a sit-up. Up you come. Whoa. Hold it there. Two double leg taps. Good. Supine twists again. Oh, I'm making this work this morning. I'm back. Up the way. That's what I had. Oh, I, ha I had a pasty for tea last night. Oh, so nice. But well, I got to work the calories off. <laughs> And the other way. Okay, ready for those toe taps. Wednesday night is our um, 
our games night. So we played Ludo last night, which was really fun, and Snakes and Ladders. I haven't done Snakes and Ladders for an awful long time, and I won, mainly because it's a random thing, but there you go. Double toe tap, here we go. Is there any skill involved? I never win. Okay, last time through, supine twist. Oh, and back. Other way. Good. Can you get your legs a little bit further? Tiny bit further. Oh, that's hard work. Ready for those toe taps? Here we go. Toe taps. So it's down. Hands getting up behind the head, ready for our sit up. Good, here comes that sit up, nice and controlled. Up you come. Oh, hold it there, tell me how she's pulled in. Double toe taps. One more. Oh, good, have a little rest. Quite a hard sequence, that one. Quite tough. Excellent. We are going to go onto our hands and knees now, so rolling yourselves over. Oh. Wait, we're not going to need those for a bit, so you can chuck them out of the way. So, hands and knees. We're going to do some plank down dogs. I know how much you enjoy them, so they're in there especially for you guys. If you can't do weight-bearing stuff for shoulders or elbows, then what I would like you to do is go back onto your back and do some toe tapping, some sit-ups and supine twists, or some bridge work. So don't just think you can sit there with a cup of tea. Everybody else. We're going to go into extended arm plank. So arms nice and wide. Knees are back, and we're going to just hold it here for now. So tummy pulls in. Now try not to hunch. So lengthen your crown of your head, suck your tummy muscles in, and just hold it there for me, nothing else. Good, that's great fun, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go into a down dog. So tuck your toes under, up into a down dog. Settle yourselves, a bit noisy now, sorry guys. Settle yourselves into a position that feels fairly comfortable. Drop those heels. Push your chest back towards your legs. Okay, so now we've got two positions. We've got our down dog and we've got our knee down plank. So back to our knee down plank again. Hold it there for me. Now, we're going to start making a quicker transition between these two positions. So tuck those toes under. Back into your down dog again. Hold it there. Now, when we go into plank next time, see if you can do it without putting your knees down. Breath in. Okay, into plank. Into down dog. Plank. Down dog. So you can see what we're doing. We're working between those two positions. Down dog. Good. One more. Hold your down dog, push those heels down, pull in your tummy, have a little lovely fun time there before you stop and have a rest. Oh, good. Let me just demonstrate what's going to happen next. Chop a down dog because your shirts kind of all come up, don't they? So tuck all your clothing in. Let me demonstrate what we're going to do next. So we're going to be in our plank and then we're going to come up into our down dog. We're going to go into our plank, we're going to come up. And it's a three-legged down dog. Feel sorry for the dog when you're having three legs. So, you don't have to lift your leg, of course you don't. We're gonna in, go in between those two moves. Let's say we're gonna do six. So right, left, right, left, right, left. Are you ready, everybody? Yes. Born ready. Okay, get yourselves ready. Breath in. Here we go. So down dog, back to plank. Down dog, other leg. Back to plank, that's two of six. Keep going. Keep those heels low on your down dog, everybody. It's tempting to go up onto tippy toes. Two more to go. I'm getting really hot. Last one. Good work, sit back. Give your wrists a little shake out. You should be thinking, oh, heart rate's up a bit from that one. I bet, I bet my, my watch can tell me how much it's up to. I don't know, don't understand it yet. 116 beats per minute, that's quite high. 
We're going to go back to our plank. This time we're going to go into our elbows. And we're going to do our side plank. Do you remember the side plank? Of course you do. Let's just put our knees down. Nice and controlled. Breath in. When you feel ready, turn onto your side and lift that arm up for me. This leg here can go on the floor or you can lift it. It's up to you. Back to plank. Hold it there. Then we're going to go the other way. I want you to really focus on your control with these moves, everyone. Don't rush. Bring yourselves back. Good. Hold the plank for me. We're going to do a little knee lift. So a little knee lift. So the whole leg's going to come up. You need to brace your abs. Good. And then here comes our side plank again. Over we go. Lifting up. Microphone's on the move. <laughs> Down you come. Hold it there. Other way. Reach up. I know it's tough, but I also know you can do this, guys. Back you come. Okay. So same thing with the knee lift. Nice long crown, everybody, remember? Lift. Down. Two more. One more. And then rest. Everyone back. Child's pose or cat stretch. You choose, have a little rest. So planks and side planks are always tough. They're such good exercise. They see your heart rate gets right up, 110. So my heart rate, resting heart rate is about so between 50 and 60. So my heart rate's good, doubled. So even though we're not kind of doing this to do a heart, to do a real big calorie burn, it's working our hearts, it's getting those hearts working. Okay, so we're gonna do it again, same thing. Some of you, though, I know, could do a full plank, so without your knees on the floor. So if you want to try that, try it. I'm going to be on my elbows still. So, see if you can get yourself up into your full plank. Then to go into side plank, you turn, you either stack your feet or you have one in front of the other, whatever works for you. Bring yourself back to that plank position. Put your knees down at any time. Change over. Open up that arm. Good. Bring yourselves back. Hold it here. Can you lift a leg? Just a little bit. And back. Tummies in, everybody. We're going to do that one more time. Little rest first. How are we doing? Can we feel it? <laughs> so it's going to be our last time through with this sequence. Then we're going to do some stretching, everybody. Because you deserve it. It's Thursday, for goodness sake. Second day of Lent. Have you managed to not eat the chocolate? That's the question. So, get yourselves ready. Knee stands are always the option, of course. Side plank. So this time I've got my feet stacked. No, uh, one in front of the other. Back to plank. And the other way you could do is you could stack your legs. Which is kind of better for the hips, but everyone's different. Bring yourselves back. Hold it here. Come on, we can do this. Four leg lifts, take your time. Four. Three, nice crack in my ankle there. Two. One more. Oh, good stuff. Into child's pose, head on the floor, arms relaxed down beside you. Oh, take a breather. So we're gonna do some stretching now. We're gonna do it on our front to begin with. And we're gonna do our upper body. So what I want you to do is sit yourself onto your heels, knees are slightly apart, arms are wide, pop them on the floor, wide of your mat, and then sit yourself back onto your heels. So you've got lovely open arms. Then take your right hand and put it on top of your left. So you've got a diagonal arm going across your, your mat, and then sit back. So I want you to try and squeeze your right buttock back onto your heel. Now, it might not get there, but my goodness, you'll get a stretch in the process. So sit there. Keep pushing your buttock down. Now, anybody who's been working their arms with me lately will find you've got a big old stretch going through that upper, upper arm, kind of tricepsy armpit area. But this is also stretching all the way down the side of your body, right down to your bottom. Keep it a little bit longer. Good. Bring yourselves back up. We're going to obviously do the other side. So hand goes over. Sit yourself back. 
And now I'm trying to push my right buttock down towards my heel. So I'm really working at that stretch. If you're not getting a stretch, you might need to walk your hands a little bit further forwards. Wow, that's a big one, this one. Hold it there. Oh, good work, everybody. Good. Bring yourselves back up. Take your knees really, really wide for me. Let me show you. And I'm really, really wide. Sit back onto your heels. And we're just going to take ourselves down onto our elbows. So I'll turn sideways again so you can see what my back's doing. So my hands are down. Some of this might be here. It's fine. If you can get your elbows down, even better. If you can get lower than that, some of you I know can. Can you get your chest heading down? I, I honestly, that's about as far as mine will go. So I'm going to make a little pile of my hands to rest my head. And I'm going to let this stretch happen. Oh, hips. Hips, hips, hips. Everyone breathe. Now I'm making you do quite hard stretches because I know you can cope. Good. Bring yourselves back up. Oh. Sit, lie yourself down onto your tummies. We're going to do our thigh stretch. We've done that thigh stretch lots of times. You all know it. Take hold of your foot. You could use a band here, remember? And keeping those knees almost touching, if you can, push your hips down. Now what I'm doing also here is I'm pushing my foot slightly into my hand. And all that does is increases the stretch a little bit. So if you want to, you can. Rest your head, breath in. Push those hips down further. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that I am really feeling that. A little bit more. Release the leg down, change over. So I went for a little run yesterday. I haven't done one in a week or two. And uh, my thighs, despite stretching them, are feeling very tight. So I've been doing these stretches in the morning when I get up as well. Because <laughs> my legs are very tight. A little bit longer. Well done. Release your legs down. Slowly push yourselves up. We're going to do a nice little cat stretch here. Hands under shoulders. Arch your back up. Tuck your chin in. Big old stretch. And then release it down and you can go all the way through to cow if you like. And if you're thinking, do you know what? It's lighter, it's brighter, it's milder. I'd like to do some running. Then don't just think you can go out there and run. You know, I do running all year through my classes and also through uh, my uh, hockey. But use one of the apps. So the, the, the Couch to 5K apps are very good. The NHS does one, which is excellent. Um, and they are a really good way to avoid injury whilst you gradually learn to run. Because it's, it's something that if you just rush, step, step out and go for a run, you will end up injured. Back that flat back. Do you remember when you did a little wiggly cat? So wiggle your bottom side to side. That's it. Excellent. Well done. Okay, then sit on our backsides. Get my glasses back on. <laughs> I can just about see his with our carols here. Hey, Carol. Okay, legs out lovely and wide. Straight backs. So remember, you can always sit on a cushion if you need to. A little bit of work to stretch through inner and outer thighs. So I'm going to get you to turn to one of your legs. Turn your shoulders. Lean forward as if you're trying to bring your chin down to your knee. Now, I'm not going to expect to get anywhere near that, but just take yourself down as far as you can and let the stretch happen. We're not fighting it. If you want to add more, take the hand that's on the inside and reach to the outside of the leg. Try not to let the body twist. But don't let the uh, body do that. Drop the shoulders. Good. Everyone back into the middle. Turn. So turn your shoulders to face your other leg. Little lean down. And as I'm leaning forward, I'm really trying not to lift this buttock. So it doesn't matter if you don't go far. You will feel the stretch. Remember what we did? We took that middle hand, popped it to the outside. And then we pulled ourselves down. So I'm just getting a little bit of purchase on that car. And I'm giving it an extra pull. Good. Bring yourselves back up. Oh, good work. Legs come together. So your feet are together. Your knees are wide apart. If you feel you're tipping backwards, lift your bottom up. Lean forward slightly. Now I want you to pop one elbow. One elbow on the inside of your knee. And just do a push. 
and then release. Good. So don't go crazy with this kind of thing. Because we don't want to do ourselves a mischief. And again, push down. And back. One more time. Push down. And back. Lovely. Straighten your legs out. Without leaning backwards, work one leg over the other. Draw it in towards you. It doesn't matter how close it comes. Opposite hand. So that leg, opposite hand. Take a hold. Pull it in. So can you see how that moved from open to in towards my body? Now I'm trying to be really tall. I'm going to get my other hand to help. Oh, and then, can we feel that? That we can. Lovely and tall. If you want to add a little twist, it does look nice. Rotate round. So you're looking away into the garden. It's raining again. Never mind. Okay, release those legs, change over, little leg comes over, bring it back in. And again, remember, opposite hand first, so get that in. You can help with the other one. Some people you really have to get your elbow around there. Others you'll actually be able to get your hand right over. Depends on you. Can we have a twist? Rotate around, looking over my shoulder. I can see, oh, I think that's a street cleaner coming by. It is. How nice. Little twist. Oh, back you come. Good work. Back to cross legs. Breath in, reach up. Exhale. And again, breath in, reach up. And exhale. Fantastic. Very, very well done, everybody. It's time for our relaxation. Hooray. So get yourselves laid down. If you've got a blanket or if you need a blanket, put that on. And I'm going to pop on our nice, relaxing music. Well done, everybody. Has other people joined us who I didn't have a chance to say hello to? So it's David, Gillian, is that Paula? That is Paula. Felicia, hello, Felicia. Uh, yeah, the lovely. I'm going to call you the toners then. Sorry, Brendan. <laughs> oh, he ditched us for the Xbox, did he, Lindsay? Well, I can't blame him. It must be nice not having any school. This is Lindsay's son. Who are poor, poor, poor everybody has, is having to be at home, isn't it? <laughs> oh, don't, I'm not, I don't envy any of you guys with your kids at home. Righty ho, everyone. Get yourselves comfy. Lie yourselves down. This is an important part of the class. It's your opportunity to just switch off. So no thinking about jobs or chores. I want you to think about lovely, slow, deep breaths. So close your eyes. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Exhale long and slow through your mouth. And again, big breath in. Exhale. Why not try that box breathing? We've done that before. So take a slow breath in for about a count of three. Hold it for a count of three. Exhale it slowly for a count of three. And hold that emptiness for a count of three. Then go again, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Just see if you can increase the length of time that you breathe in for. So think of it as a box. Each side has to be the same. So breathing in maybe for four seconds, out for four, so hold for four, she said, out for four, hold for four. See how you get on with that.
well done, everybody. Just start to bring yourself back with a little wiggle of your fingers and your toes. Oh, maybe a hug of those knees. Always a good one. Oh, I like to do that little rock side to side. Very well done, everyone. Roll onto your sides. Gently bring yourselves up to sitting. Don't really want that beat of music suddenly coming in, do we? Um, well done, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed that today. Quite tough. It was quite tough, but then I know you can cope. And I know also that you'll take the ones that suit you and you'll discard the ones that you don't like. Let's take a breath in. Exhale. And again, breathe in, reach up. And then exhale. Very, very well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's see. Oh, well, it says 122 calories. Now, I'm pretty impressed by that, if that's the case. So well done, Fitbit. We like that. Um, and uh, any more new 84, 84 uh, heart rates are on there, 122. Oh, there you go. So it's more of a calorie burn than I thought. I think that's because we did quite a lot of big power movements, didn't we? So anyway, well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I will be um, obviously here tomorrow for our classes, and we've got another one in 10 minutes' time just under 10 minutes, so get yourself sorted. You just need your mats, you don't need your weights, um, band for stretching if you want it yourself, but not needed. Um, and I'll see you all in a minute. Bye, everybody.